see. So there we had uh, lots and lots of people sign up for the meditation today. And we have expanded our uh, parameters on uh, Zoom. So we are out of bandwidth on Zoom with this amount of people. And so we're gonna stream on YouTube as well. And for those of you who, uh, most of you probably found me on YouTube or on uh, Insight Timer, uh, or you're just, you know, randomly showing up on different things. But if you're not on my YouTube channel, you should subscribe to it. And I just told Sherry, Sherry and Leanne are both uh, admins here at Gaia. Uh, they work with me to make this all happen for you guys. But this uh, 2020, I am going to, in the next week, completely revamp uh, my YouTube channel and we're going to have some new meditations up there. And I'm also going to resume my coffee sessions. I have not done those in quite a while. I, I moved from doing the coffee sh sessions to doing shaman shorts when I was traveling. And in this last year, I have just been regrouping and getting my bearings back into where I am. So uh, 2020 is uh, some new stuff coming your way. We've got some new courses. Uh, we have also uh, not revamped, but we have tightened up the mentorship. It is just um, exquisite now. We've got some really great stuff coming for you guys. And then also on the website, we'll have some uh, new meditations. I'm going to, I've committed myself to recording at minimum uh, 30 new meditations this coming year. So be on the lookout for that, which will push us over the 200 mark. Uh, of having, uh, that that's how many meditations I will have on the website available. So having said that, if you guys have any meditations that you say, that you think, man, I wish there was a meditation about such and such, then please email us and let me know what your idea is for a meditation. And I will put it into the pot and uh, go from there. I love having little bits of inspiration from those who are actually doing the meditations because you guys are the ones who are listening. And so creating something that is good for all of you would be, uh, be perfect. So did I see a hand raised? Sherry. Yeah. Um, it still says waiting on YouTube. Waiting. Mm -hmm. What do I have to do? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm out of it. So it, I'm not in as you. Huh. I let me see here. On my screen it says live on YouTube. Huh. Does it say that on your screen, Sherry? It does say it, it says it's okay. live on Do you on. see it now? But actually on YouTube it's not live. It's it not it says live now on, on YouTube. Ah, uh, I had to hit play. <laughs> Little detail. But wait, you do see it? Yeah. Okay. Sherry, you got it? I'm not seeing it, but I'll get out and get back in. That might be it. Okay. I just checked it. It's live. I, I could hear all of us on there. Ah, so. okay. Yeah. Good. Love technology when it works. So anyway, we have, um, wow, we've got 71 people here and we've got some folks on. I do see the, the chat going on, on on YouTube. And uh, we've even got some people over there who are in the mentorship. So we've got mentorship people spread out everywhere. And so for those of you who are new to my work or to this kind of setting, let me just give you a quick lowdown. Then we're going to do the meditation. Um, and also after the meditation, we've got a really special poem that's going to be read by some of the mentorship students. And then I'm also going to answer some questions because I've gotten – just in this last week alone, uh, we've been fielding probably 50 to 70 questions, emails, people coming in, asking questions about the mentorship and things like that. So I just wanna kind of be here uh, for any of you who do have questions about that. Mentorship is a program that I've developed that follows the medicine wheel. And we do four sessions per year, each one for each cardinal direction. And uh, there's the ability to sign up for a single session or for the year long program. And you learn how to live your life according to the medicine wheel, which is a beautiful 
a container for just kind of taking your life and putting it into this great little framework and being able to live a spiritual life while you're doing the laundry, while you're going to work, while you're shopping, while you're living your everyday life, and also being able to bring balance into all of the directions so that you really embody and live out your sacred purpose. We have just completed the alchemist or the west direction and we're about to open up uh, the north direction or the soul shaman and so in between each session at the equinox or the solstice and today it's going to be new year's we do a meditation like this that kind of closes out one direction and then creates a threshold to begin the next direction and that gives us all kind of a really um, beautiful way to uh, kind of step into the energy. Each direction has a very different energy. The north is that time of going inward and introspection. And we really, really work with our spirit guides, our power animal, our higher self to embrace and learn and reconnect to that team, but also to that wisdom that's within each of us. And, um, to find what our purpose is here. We kind of turn off the external world and we reevaluate all of our belief systems and really get to the core of who am I? Who am I at that deepest, deepest level? And how can I bring that expression out into the world? The North is a really, really beautiful place to be. Let me turn my phone off. Good that happened just before the meditation. <laughs> Um, the North is a beautiful place to be to really uh, get back in touch with the real reason why we're here. We're not here to work nine to five, pay bills, do chores and all of that. That's part of life. But really, it's about bringing the expression of who you are into your everyday life and to live with purpose, to live with passion, to live presently. Uh, in the North, we talk about taking the pilgrimage. We talk about presence. Uh, we work with soul recovery and learn some of those tools where we bring that power back into um, our own abilities. So in today's meditation, you're going to feel those kind of themes as we go in. We're going to take the energy of the West, which was all about uh, transformation, manifestation, uh, what we've harvested in our life. The West is when we kind of bring everything. This is, this is the physicality of my life. This is what I have. And this is what I've manifested by the seeds that I've planted in the East direction. And we reevaluate all of that. Is this where we really want to be? And we work with our ancestors. So in the meditation, you're going to feel that, that traveling from the West direction where we uh, will go into that um, inward space of working with your ancestor who is with you and really looking at the harvest of what you have, what you want to let go of, and then bringing that into the north direction where we kind of cross that threshold and go into that inward space to learn who we are at that deepest level. So today's meditation is gonna follow that, that vein and, and open up that threshold for us to walk into that north direction. Each uh, direction also has a gatekeeper and in the north, the bear, the buffalo and the turtle are the primary gatekeepers. And so you'll see them showing up in today's meditation also. Um, and are there any questions before I start? Because uh, after the meditation, people are kind of like, ah. <laughs> all right. And so another just little thing here is that you've got uh, over on your, or actually down below, there is a chat box. If you have any questions, you can uh, put them in that chat box and I will see them or Sherry or Leanne or Betty and they'll be able to, to alert me if I miss it. And also on YouTube also just write some comments. Sherry's uh, monitoring that vein so that if we have any questions over there, she can, can pop them over to me. Now the meditation is uh, also video. I am, I, I love, I do this four times a year for each opening of each direction. And I get to tap back into, I used to be a videographer and I used to edit videos back in the old days when we had S tapes. I don't know if any of you know what that means, but um, it's old school. 
and I love doing video uh, editing. So I, I was up till midnight last night finishing this video. So there's a few quirks in there that I didn't get worked out, but I think it's it'll work for today. Uh, this meditation will also be available on uh, YouTube uh, probably in a few days. I'll, I'll actually take down the recording that we're doing right now and put up a clean uh, version of it. And uh, we will also have uh, something in, uh, I didn't get a chance to do it today, but I want to give you guys a coupon code to get this meditation if you want to download it and have it for your, your own free whatever. So, um, Sherry, Leanne, is there anything I need to know before we, we start? It's so weird. I can't hardly find you guys since you're, <laughs> there's all these little, little faces. Um, and you know, I just want to say this really quick before we start. I'm, I can get long winded. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm really, really, truly grateful for all of you being here. This is a holiday. Um, a lot of people are spending it with their family. You've chosen to be here. And I just really appreciate uh, you, your support, your love, uh, your attention, and the fact that you guys are part of the global community. Even if you're not in the mentorship, although I think you should be, even though you're not in the mentorship, some of you, I just want you to know that I feel the presence of the community, uh, both on Facebook and YouTube and all the emails that I've gotten and Insight Timer and all those little veins that I have out there. I see some familiar faces from students who used to be in the mentorship who have graduated. Uh, Becky, you're one of them. It's good to see you here today and just really uh, grateful for all of you. All right, so on that note, I am, let me get my videos started here. Um, there's like 5,000 buttons I have to uh, start out with here. Advanced sharing. All right. One. All right. Does everybody see a big compass and a map? Okay. We are in the right spot then except it took away my video. So now I gotta find my video again. Uh, and... and thumbs up if you can hear it. Whatever it has taken for you to get here today, take a moment to acknowledge that journey. Reflect on what has been the harvest in your life, the people who surround you, contributions that you make to the world. The abundance you have manifested. The spiritual truths that you hold close to your heart. The place you call home. And the soul that you are. This is your foundation, your anchor. And 
breathe in deeply and exhale a beautiful luminescent bubble with all of these energies woven in like golden strands. With every breath, this bubble becomes stronger, more beautiful, more luminescent. Imagine now a path before you leading you into the mother forest where all things good dwell. The canopy of trees protecting you from above. soft forest floor cushions your every step. And the further into this forest you go, the more magic and mystery appears. Time slows down and speeds up. You walk through all of the seasons in a single landscape. The energies of the medicine wheel spinning around you and in you. spirits of the forest blanketing you with their medicine and take a moment to notice who do you feel most connected to right now along your path are fallen branches, each one symbolizing the things in your life that you need to let go. Blocks, fears, broken relationships, the moments that you haven't loved yourself, the shadow, anger, apathy. And one by one, pick up each branch. And with each branch that you gather, leave a pinch of tobacco as gratitude for the lesson that it provided you.
and perhaps your arms are getting tired from carrying so many branches but you still pick them up as they come arrive now at a clearing in the forest with a beautiful, beautiful stone circle. And in the middle is a fire. And across from you sits one of your ancestors who has been walking with you during this time. Feel the warmth of the fire crackling sounds combined with the sounds of all the animal spirits near you. They've all come to bear witness for you. With you. And your ancestor encourages you to burn the branches that you collected along the way to release the blocks and fears and all those things that have held you back and one by one you toss each branch into the fire watching it as it is engulfed in flames burned to ash into the ethers. Grateful for the abundance. Grateful for the lessons. Grateful for your path. Grateful for your strength. Grateful for the love that you hold within you. Grateful. Grateful. I am grateful.
And the time has come now for you to enter into the womb. And the bear comes forward to lead you to the entrance of a cave. And as you follow Mama Bear through the forest, she brings you to the opening of Mother Earth. And this cave invites you. It invites you inward to that place of introspection. And as you enter, the noise of the outside world becomes muted and slowly only the sound of your heartbeat and breath are all you hear. As you walk down the long tunnel of the cave, you notice markings on the walls, messages that your spirit guides have left for you. What stands out to you? What message do they have for only you? And the cave opens now to a beautiful world inside, as if you have entered into a different realm. And waiting for you are your spirit guides, your higher self, and your power animal. They have waited for you and for this reunion for a long time. Begin to feel those strands of love that have always connected you being stringed together once more. They invite you now to lie down in a safe place where your physical body can rest and your soul can journey with them to the outer realms. And they open up a portal. And as you travel through this portal, you feel weightless, stripped of any pain or physical hindrance. And suddenly you find yourself flying above landscape of Mother Earth. Beautiful. Beautiful. And they bring you now to a world that looks much like ours, but is magical, full of mystery. You not only can see this world, but you can feel it. You can 
hear it. You can almost taste it. The essence of this world is so intermingled with your essence, it feels familiar. As if you have come home. And it is here where they further strip you to your core essence, exposing the truth of your soul. sacred purpose, why you are here. these truths in your bones. You feel the wisdom of your calling welling up inside of you. What are you called to do and be in this lifetime? Just as you collected the branches of all those blocks and released them, you are now going to collect seeds and gather them close to your heart. The seeds of who you are. The seeds of your sacred purpose.
to return now. And her guides remind you that this was just the pinprick of awakening. And that now, now is the time for you to gather these seeds and bring them into your heart to continue finding them and to continue remembering who you are. To nurture these seeds that have been dormant. them close. And as you come back into your body, into the cave, know that this is a place that you can always retreat to when you need to find that safe, quiet, still place where you can discover your soul. Breathe yourself back into your body. Feeling the physicality of your muscles, your bones, your skin, your breath. And pay special attention as you walk out of this cave now any added messages that your guides may have left for you. As you exit the cave, you walk into this winter wonderland, the earth blanketed in a beautiful white canvas, the bear waiting for you. She tells you to continue this journey into your soul, that she will wake you when it's time to rise again. Take this pilgrimage, continuing it into this world, the pilgrimage of your soul to find presence, to learn who you are, that deepest core. Recover those parts of your soul that have been lost over time. To nurture those seeds that you have let go. To find your sacred purpose, your true sacred purpose. Why are you here? holds this space for you as you do this journey, this work. And she whispers to you quietly, welcome home. Welcome home, soul shaman.
Aho. Thank you, everybody. Ha, ah, let me give you a moment, give myself a moment. Uh, whenever I make these kind of meditations, it's uh, usually very emotional for me also. And hopefully, if any of you have ever seen the movie, uh, it's like Water for Chocolate, where the woman's emotions go into her cooking, my emotions go into my meditations and into my creations. So I hope that you guys uh, felt that. And, uh, and with that, I welcome and embrace the North Direction 2020. This is going to be, I feel it in my bones, this is going to be a beautiful year for all of us. And I'm really looking forward to uh, experiencing it, but also being a witness to, to you guys, those of you who are going through on the mentorship, to be a witness to your growth and to you stepping into your sacred purpose. This is really the time for all of us to uh, pony up and contribute to the world in the way that we are meant to and, and embody why we came here and what we are truly here to do. Uh, so I hope that, that you each embrace that. Before I, um, I'll answer questions about the mentorship here in a bit, but we have a really special poem that's going to be read here by uh, some of the mentorship people. And Betty is, uh, I want to actually do a little uh, shameless plug here for Betty. She's going to be joining the Gaia Tribe team for 2020. She went through the uh, certification program that I offer and uh, she is now a certified shamanic coach and she will be offering some of her services through uh, the uh, Guy Wisdom School. So I am very excited to, to say that. This is gonna be a great year for uh, Betty as well. And Betty has been on the mentorship now for uh, eight seasons, am I right, Betty? Nine seasons, 15? We're in season 15, so it could be that you've been here. Uh, I know Carol's been here for 15 Actually, seasons. this will be my 13th. 13th, okay. 13 seasons around the wheel. That's uh, beautiful. And so I am uh, really excited about that. And Betty, I'm going to turn it over to you so that you and the other tribe can do the poem. Okay, thank you. And I want to thank the ladies um, who all volunteered to help us with this. I truly appreciate your willingness and your wonderful spirits in doing this. So we're going to start. Excuse us. There's some hiccups, but I think we got this. Ladies, are we ready? All right. <clears throat> I will begin. I call upon the spirit of the East, a place of new beginnings, a new life, and a new birth. I clear my mind so that I may be inspired. I open this space for new ideas to be born, that I may have the knowledge of clarity for them to sprout. Eagle, please carry my ideas and dreams safely on your wings. And to Owl, may you plant within me the seeds needed for new dreams. I am grateful. I call upon the spirit of the South, a place of expression, creativity, passion and play. Allow me to feel your fullness, your richness and your warmth. In this space, I nurture my dreams and watch as your energy helps them grow and expand. Please open my intuition so that I may express with my soul. I call upon dolphin to safely swim in the warm waters that carry my dreams and for frog to teach me the patience I may need. I am grateful. I call upon the spirit of the West in this space where my dreams transform into conscious reality. I call upon your energy now. Please come into this sacred space and allow me to discover myself and each other. I call upon the Phoenix to transform me through, the sacred, through his sacred fires and to the snake, may she be the keeper of my dream time as I shed my skin. I am grateful. To my ancestors of the North, I call upon your wise counsel and ask for your guidance. Free me to my death and to my rebirth. Allow me to bear witness to the cycle of completion. May I travel inward to hear your loving guidance. 
I call upon Bear to watch over me and to infuse me with his power. Into Turtle, I ask you for the blessing from heaven and earth I am. To Grandfather Sky, you are the breath of my life, and I send my prayers to your safe heavens. I ask for your loving energy to connect me to my soul family, where I may experience the oneness of this great universe. I am grateful. Grandmother Earth, your loving home surrounds and supports me. I call upon Gaia to awaken within me the eternal understanding, respect, and unconditional love. Mother Earth, may you feel my feet deeply rooted as I tread gently upon your flesh. May we nurture and honor one another for as long as I remain in this earthly body and beyond. I am grateful. The spirit within me, I call upon my emerging soul, the essence of all that is. May the butterfly land gently on my spirit and carry with it the song of my soul to all those here and beyond. I am all that I am, and I am grateful. Aho. Aho, Matakwe Austin. Thank you. So beautiful that we had Scotland, Australia, and the United States all represented in that poem and many, many more countries of those of us who listen. I know we've got South Africa here, uh, and we've got uh, Brussels and France, and I don't know where else off the top of my head, but uh, I love that we have a global community and that we are all able to share this space no matter where we are in the world, uh, which is such a gift that I think sometimes I take for granted and maybe you do too, but uh, to be able to connect with you guys uh, virtually is really uh, amazing to me. And I'm very grateful that, that I'm able to do that, that you're able to be here. Uh, Alice is saying she's from Ireland. Yes, got my Irish going there. So um, anyway, that is uh, that concludes our opening ceremony for the North Direction, our, our welcome into this new year of 2020. And I, uh, any of you who want to pop off and kind of soak in that meditation space, you're welcome to. And then if you would uh, like to discuss a little bit more about the mentorship, please throw questions out there. Uh, yeah, I just saw that Betty wrote, uh, that poem is a poem that I wrote uh, for the medicine wheel. And it is in the, I have, um, oh, I don't know how many now, five or six books out there. Oh, there you go. Raven showing it. The Alchemist is the newest, or no, the Soul Shaman is the newest book that I just put out. And yeah, Karen's got that there. Raven showing the Alchemist. Linda showing the Soul Shaman. Uh, Katrin showing the Soul Shaman. So anyway, and I, I just found out this, Leanne alerted me to this, uh, the soul shaman that just came out actually hit, uh, what was it, Leanne, number one in earth religion on Amazon. So I, that was very exciting for me. I had no idea that that was coming. <laughs> so very happy about that. But that is available. All, all those books are available on Amazon. And that poem is in each of those books. Uh, and, the, and the workbook is actually a way to kind of go through the directions if you're not in the mentorship. It's a, it started out as a uh, workbook for the mentorship students so that they could have a place to compile all of their exercises, their writings, their meditations, so on and so forth. And I have expanded them now to make them a little bit more uh, user-friendly to anyone who might have picked one up and is not part of the mentorship. So it follows the energy of that direction. Uh, you got 12 weeks in there. It gives you a calendar. It's like a little day timer, but it's also a spiritual journal at the same time. Um, so those are also, and if you look up my name on Amazon, Dakota Earth Cloud Walker, uh, you'll find it in your local Amazon. It's sold in every Amazon across the world. So you should be able to get it no matter where you live. And uh, I know I had uh, Leanne, uh, posted me a couple of questions from uh, some private ones that you guys have gotten about the mentorship. We do start this week. 
uh, on the mentorship or not this week. No, this is only the first. <laughs> we have eight days yet. So Thursday of next week is our first class. Uh, we will actually be closing the enrollment on Monday. Uh, the um, I think that's the 6th, is it? Something like that. Monday, whatever date that is. We will close enrollment. And it does start on Thursday the 9th, and it runs through March. There's nine sessions. We do live calls each week. You can join either the full-on uh, mentorship, which is you get the live calls, you get the – and the live calls are basically workshops and uh, group coaching with me. We go through each of the weeks. Uh, you also get all the coursework. Uh, there's a lot that you get into the mentorship. But one of the questions that keeps coming up is can I – participate if I live in, I think it was South Africa. That's why I know there was somebody from South Africa. And the answer is yes, you can, uh, no matter where you are in the world. We have over 20 countries represented in the, in the mentorship right now. So we've got people spread out everywhere. And what's really awesome about the full-on mentorship is that even though we are a virtual community, uh, many of these people have actually met in person and have, you know, I when I was traveling around the United States, I got to stop and meet several of the students along the way. So I met Becky in, in New Mexico. We had, we had dinner at a Mexican restaurant who didn't serve margaritas, which <laughs> was baffling to me. But um, anyway, it, it's, it becomes a very tight knit, beautiful community that uh, it's really wonderful that we can not only see each other virtually, but we also, as we're traveling around the world, get to meet other people. Um, and are there any other questions about the, I think, did I get that question answered, Leanne? <laughs> or maybe it was Sherry. I think Sherry was fielding some of the questions on YouTube about um, being able to do this virtually. Everything is remote, so we do everything on the computer. We've got quite a uh, uh, course set up in the website. When you join, you get uh, your user login and stuff. You get access to all these pages. If you're a wisdom keeper, you get all these bonus courses, uh, meditations, live calls, the works. Um, I've been really good. Uh, this will be happy news for all those who are on the mentorship right now. I've been really good at not changing a lot on the website. So everything's going to be easy to find still for, uh, I, I'm notorious for changing things up every session, but we're good now. Um, any other questions about the mentorship? I, I do see one question who came in about, uh, can I write a book about twin flames and the truths about these connections? Uh, is there a book you suggest on this topic, which is authentic? Uh, to answer that question, I don't know any books that really talk about twin flames that I would trust. Um, and I also just have not read a lot about twin flames from other people's work. I am actually thinking about creating a course on twin flames, uh, two separate courses. One, if you and your twin flame are together. And then one, if you're not together and are going through the angst of what that feels like. Um, there's there's two, di two di really different ways of experiencing your twin flame. One is blissful and wonderful and beautiful and like nothing you've ever felt, felt before. And the other one is very tragic. So it's, uh, it's a very, uh, that's a hot topic for a lot of people. Um, Anything else, Sherry, Leanne, am I missing any questions anywhere? Okay. Anyone want to uh, meditations or anything else? Does anybody have any meditation requests that I can start nibbling on? None? I know Sherry. Sherry, which one do you want? <laughs> She's been requesting this for six months now. She's got to find her screen. I want a sleep meditation. Sleep meditation. I will. You know, uh, on Insight Timer, I'm one of the uh, founding meditation coaches on Insight Timer, and their sleep meditations are the number one meditations on the app. And I have no sleep meditation. So that will be one of the first ones that gets made. 
I promise. She wants a campfire. She wants to fall asleep to the campfire, which who wouldn't want that? Any other questions that I can answer or meditation requests that I can write down? The thought of things yeah. can you not yeah. think of, but connecting with your spirit guides when you revamp YouTube, please. I'm sorry, say that one more time, Carol. Connecting, I think it's connecting with your spirit guides or connect with your spirit guides. Yeah. Please, please don't take it off. <laughs> but you have access to it from the mentorship. No, do it. Yeah, you do. I'll show you where. I'll show you where you have access to it. And if you don't have access to it, I'll make sure that you do. Thank you. That's uh, um, But I will probably actually be taking that one down from YouTube, but I may be replacing it with a different one. What I'm trying to do on YouTube, and YouTube people that are just listening right now, you'll appreciate this. YouTube has changed things where they're inserting ads now into the middle of all of, uh, and it's not just me, it's, it's everybody, and we have no control over it. That's why all of my uh, YouTube meditations now have the links everywhere. Please go here to listen to this without ads. And part of that is because I used to use a lot of music that was not royalty-free music. Um, and even if I have like 10 seconds of a song that's not royalty-free, they will flag it and they will insert uh, ads into it. So my goal is to create everything with royalty free music and upload that so that we don't have, um, I mean, it's horrible to be doing a meditation and then have like this loud ad come on. That's just, it's awful. And a lot of people are complaining on YouTube and there's not anything that we can do about it to change it. So that's one thing I'm going to do in the coming weeks is try to change out some of those meditations to clean that up some. Sharon, yes, the coffee sessions are coming. They are long overdue. In fact, when I was traveling uh, the United States, I had one coffee mug and it's, it was my go-to. It's what I drank coffee out of every single morning. And what I ended up doing was I would film myself holding that coffee cup with whatever backdrop was behind me. And sometimes it was Mount Hood in Oregon or the Gold Coast on California or the Red Mountains of uh, Utah. And so I have my coffee cup in all of these different places all over the United States. So the opening to every coffee session is going to be a montage of my coffee cup in a hundred different places. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> Dakota, do you have a spot on the website where people can submit questions? Coffee yeah. questions? If you go to, uh, I think it's on the drop down box when you, when it says like free stuff, there's the coffee sessions, the soul sessions, soul shaman shorts. And then there's another link, I think, for uh, ask a question. Um, if not, I, and I'll be emailing, not, yeah, I'll be emailing that out pretty soon to uh, when I start getting ready to ramp up for recording those. Uh, Oh, Julie's from South Africa. What is it with South Africa today? I had somebody email me that they're going to uh, buy a gift for somebody in South Africa. And then we had South Africa on YouTube and now Julie's from South Africa. Maybe we need to visit South Africa. <laughs> you also had shout outs from Romania and Canada on YouTube. Oh, sweet, <laughs> Romania. Funny story about Romania. I never knew that that country existed until I did. Uh, There's a global art project that uh, happens every two years. And this woman, um, she does this, she's been doing it for 30 years now. And she matches people from all over the world with somebody in a different country. And you exchange artwork. You actually create artwork based on world peace. And, it was, uh, and I got matched up with somebody in Romania. Um, and we got England. And God, I got all places, all kinds of places. And so that is the beauty of this. The world can come together as one group, one tribe. It's a um, wonderful feeling about that. And Germany, Karen's from Germany. Beautiful. All right, so there's uh, Sherry. There's a question on YouTube. Um, I'm gonna 
send it to you there. Where is it? Uh, Zoom, the chat, Zoom chat. Oh, I've met two golden beings of light during a meditation who entered me. Are you familiar with anything about these type of light beings? Uh, Ken, not uh, a huge amount of like, uh, how can I explain? There's, there's light beings that uh, kind of fall into all different genres of spiritual uh, truths. And so you've got the ascended masters, you've got angels, you've got light beings, you've got Melchizedek, all these different beings. And sometimes during meditation, and this is something that is maybe useful to a lot of people, is that when you have energies that come to you and want to enter into you, you have to be really cautious of that and to make sure that they are um, really true spiritual beings or they're not being cloaked. And so one of the things that you can do is, first of all, is look them straight in the eye. <clears throat> Lose my voice. If they don't look you back in the eye uh, or if they look away or they just never make direct contact with you, then usually it's an energy that's being cloaked. And you want to be very careful about that and just uh, nix that tell them they're not to be in your space and offer yourself that protection layer. The other thing that you can do is you can show a cross. Uh, I like the Celtic cross because that's what I'm more comfortable with. And they will dispel if they are not good energies. If it's an energy that's really beautiful, like what you're describing, a golden being of light, um, you know, certainly it's a, a great experience to have that energy come into you, but I'm always a big advocate for owning your own power and for you inviting them in and asking why, why they're making their presence known to you and what are you to do with that energy. And that way you kind of remain, remain in your autonomy and you're not being taken over by, by energy. Uh, we're very vulnerable when we're in meditation or when we're journeying, especially if you're adding breath work to it because you move into that subconscious mind and all of your defenses kind of go down. So just I offer that to a um, bit of cautionary, but also uh, to embrace if it is good and really figure out why. Why is that happening? What am I to do with this energy? You know, sometimes we have that energy come in and it can be for our own physical healing or our own spiritual healing that we may not even be aware of, or it might be for us to um, activate something within us where we can go out into the world and make some kind of uh, change difference. Or again, like what we just did with meditation is to live our sacred purpose. Hopefully I answered that. Any others, Sherry? There's. <clears throat> Yeah, there's one that just came in from uh, into the general chat. Oh, yeah. Seeing butterflies everywhere recently and started noticing it more these days. Um, yes, that can be either a totem. And so every animal, animals are wonderful, wonderful messengers of our spirit guides. Um, you'll learn this if you take one of my soul tracking classes. Animals are probably one of the number one ways that our guides speak to us. They'll send an animal because animals can live or do live in the spiritual world and in this world simultaneously. And so they become the mediators between the worlds. So when an animal or an insect or something shows up for you, it's bringing you a message. What I encourage everybody and those of you who've done the soul tracking class know this is that you decipher the message for yourself first. What does a butterfly mean to you? What would that symbolize? And then you can go to other sources, website, books, whatever, or ask Dakota and get more information about uh, what that might mean. And then take what feels right to you and leave the rest. And the reason for that is that we all have different filters. We all have a different way of interpreting things based on our own experiences. For me, a butterfly might mean transformation, but for somebody else, it might be a remembrance of uh, a soul who was connected to them at some time. I have a friend who's very connected to butterflies. And I think for her, it means uh, it's a sign that her mom or somebody is around, some spirit is around them. So always decide for yourself first what it might mean. Traditionally, 
Butterfly uh, is a gatekeeper of the center of the wisdom, uh, uh, the center of the medicine wheel, which is the wisdom keeper. It can mean transformation. It can mean death and rebirth. It can mean that it takes just a small thing to make a big change in the world. So those are some general uh, things that, that can can mean. The other thing you can do, Savina, is to do a meditation uh, to your power animal. And you go to lower world for that. We have a meditation on the website if you if you need help with that. You go to the lower world, find your power animal, and it may be the butterfly, but it may be something different. And so animals can come through as helping spirits or they can come through as power animals. Generally, you have one or two power animals that live with you, walk with you um, all your life. And then your helping spirit animals come in at different times, depending on what you need. So it could be that the butterfly is coming through for you right now uh, because there's something in your life that, that needs that medicine. Um, Ken, they are very spiritual beings and they sent a beam of golden light into me and we became one. Then I left my body in a pure white energy and I was able to meet, see things beyond the norm. That sounds beautiful. That sounds like a really beautiful experience. That's the beauty about meditation is uh, we can transcend this third dimensional world and really capitalize on that energy in the spiritual world that we're not always tapped into in our everyday life. We get sidetracked by ego and all the trappings that happen in the human existence. But when you go into that meditation space and, and you go to that space where our spirit guides and others are, that they can meet us, we can really get a lot of uh, beautiful work, healing, wisdom, all those kinds of things. Um, and the other thing about meditation too, this is also a, 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 something I want to write more about, is when you think about meditation, most of the time, and maybe not for this group who's here, because I think most of the people here are experienced meditators, but most times when you talk about meditation, people are thinking uh, mindfulness, sit there and mm, zone out, empty your mind. That's great if you're a visionary soul archetype, but it's horrible. It's like fingers on a chalkboard for a sacred heart warrior or a soul shaman or even an alchemist. Alchemists like to move. They like to dance or Tai Chi or some kind of something where their body is in yoga their body is in tune with that meditation. Sacred heart warriors, they love, love, love creativity and um, adding like breath work and the really vibrant, uh, like what we did today with the, the video. They like that visual, the, the artsy, the, you know, hit me in that emotional spot. How many of you know that you're a sacred heart warrior? Raise a hand, a couple of you. You can take a soul archetype test on, uh, on the website and find out what you are. Those of you who are a soul or a sacred heart warrior, how many of you felt the emotional impact of today's meditation by watching the video and, and the music and it kind of hit you in that, that heart space? That's sacred heart warrior meditation. And then the visionaries, they're the ones who like to sit, be still, quiet the mind, or they do mantras. Uh, they do a lot of um, uh, prayer is a meditation for the visionary. So finding out your soul archetype will tell you what kind of uh, meditation would be best conducive for you. Um, let's see, what else here? Uh, Sherry, yes to your question. Um, what? I think there was a question missed that was earlier up, either that or I missed hearing the answer, but is there a dedicated med meditation for tapping into your destiny? Yes. Off the top of my head, I can't remember what the name of it is. <laughs> but if you go into the website, there's you can shop by themes, which is my favorite way to shop. And there's a there's a theme for uh, sacred purpose. And any of those meditations in there would be good for figuring out what your destiny is. Or at least giving you a glimmer of it. Um, personally, here's how I feel about sacred purpose. It's divided into four things. Most people think that sacred purpose is what you do for a job. That's one fourth of the total equation. 
You can love what you do. I love, love, love my work with every fiber of my being. I am 1000% living my sacred purpose when it comes to my job. And if that were all that my sacred purpose encompassed, I'd be golden. But it also is your relationships that you have with the people around you. It's your physical environment. It's your spiritual path. Those are the four components, which are also ironically the four directions of the medicine wheel. And it's only when you have all four of those in balance that you're actually living your sacred purpose. You can love your job, but if you're going home to a relationship that's angry or disconnected or dysfunctional or abusive or detached, then that piece of your sacred purpose is missing. If you're codependent, or if you are one of those emotional hijackers or uh, overshare, those are all energies in the South direction that are out of balance. And that makes you not in touch with that sacred purpose. In the West, it's your physical environment. If you can love your job, you can have the best relationship, but if you hate where you live or you go home and it feels all cluttered and dirty and you're just surrounded by all this stuff that doesn't really identify with you, then that piece is missing. Or if you are um, not taking care of your body, then that's a piece of your sacred purpose that's missing. Or in the North direction, which we're getting ready to go into, if you are one of those people that goes like a mile wide on all that you're, you're going through all of these different uh, spiritual uh, practices and you know you got your dabbling in all these different places, then you're not really going deep. I always say go a mile deep, not a mile wide. And that is where you'll miss out on your sacred purpose in the North is if you don't really fully know what you believe, why you believe it and have spiritual practices that you really feel uh, lined up with that move you to a different place. That's the sacred purpose there. So, and that's what really, when we're working in the mentorship, what we're doing is we're, we're working to balance all four of those directions out, all that energy, so that we can really tap into what we're here to do and live and be and surround ourselves with the tribe that's going to be connected and have beautiful relationships and all of these things. So each direction, we're cleaning out that energy so that we can live into our, our sacred purpose. Um, Ismail is asking, what do you feel, what do you think about the role of hallucinogens like magic mushrooms in the spiritual world? Can they assist in being closer to your spirit guides? Uh, yes, absolutely. If done with intention, uh, not to participate in uh, plant medicine for the sake of getting high, but to, to diminish that veil a little bit. And this is really helpful if you're a visionary and you're really, um, visionaries have a tendency to, to live in the mind, live in the head. And also alchemists who live in the body, like they have to have that physical um, sense. Then plant medicine can be very helpful to uh, get yourself to that uh, place where the veil is a lot thinner. Um, I, and I, I limit that to plant medicine, which is whatever God or spirit has provided with us that doesn't have to be modified in order for us to uh, get that uh, benefit from it. So LSD, um, any, anything that's synthetic or chemical, I don't, that, that would not fall into that parameter. Uh, let's see here. Do I offer scholarships to help pay for the mentorship? Leanne, um, oh, another Leanne. I, we, we used to offer scholarships and I'll tell you what, this is what happened every single time. Uh, and scholarships aren't that we uh, give it away for free. It's where uh, somebody has gifted it. They've gifted money into a scholarship and then we uh, find who needs it and we, we give that to them. Uh, every single person who has received the scholarship never followed through. They would come to one class and then just didn't come. So my, my stance on that now is we offer payment plans that, are, that make it really affordable. Uh, we don't offer scholarships because uh, there's got to be some skin in the game for you to show up and do the work. Um, and, and I'm the same way. If somebody gives me something for free, 
I don't, I don't take it for the value that it really is. Um, not as much. It's not as easy. So we don't do that, but we do have uh, uh, payment plans. And we, I get yelled at for this, but I try to accommodate and work with, <laughs> Leanne's already shaking her head. <laughs> I try to do what I can to, to help people out. I know what it's like to be struggling and, uh, you know, to have to, there, there are so many times in my 20s, I would just think, I just wish I could just get a break. Um, so we do try to help people out in that sense, but we do uh, offer the payment plans. Um, anything else? Am I missing anything else? Any other questions? Sherry. Uh, so just so we're clear, when is the deadline for signing up? Monday. Monday is the Monday at midnight, my time. Uh, and I'm in like New York time zone. And the classes actually officially kick off Thursday, the okay. night. We're back. Yes, we're back. And actually, uh, the sooner you sign up, the better, because we have, uh, there's a pre-course, there's the introduction to the medicine wheel course that you get. Um, we get you set up on the community. Uh, and so everybody wants to know who you are and introductions and stuff. So it's always best not to wait until Monday. Uh, the sooner you can sign up, the more that you can get your, get your feet wet right away. Uh, and I wanted to ask if, if there's anybody who's on the mentorship that would like to say something about their experience with it. Everybody's going to be like, oh, I don't know. Betty? Genius has an old timer. Um, yeah. <laughs> I could say for any of you who maybe you're thinking about the mentorship, curious about the mentorship, I was in the same shoes. I was scared to death. I had no idea what I was doing, but I knew in my soul that it was the right thing to do. I didn't think I had the money, but I signed up anyway. I did the payment plan part and I thought it'll come when it comes, I'll be okay. Um, I got a bonus the next day at work that paid for the entire mentorship, which was the universe saying, yeah, this is what you need. Yeah. I can honestly say I've finished, I've been through three years of the mentorship. My life has changed 180 degrees. It has been a lot of work, a lot of work. There have been times I wanted to throw the computer across the room. There have been times I've thrown the journal across the room, but it's been worth it. Every yeah. single bit of it. And no matter what, you always have the support of Dakota and Team Gaia and this wonderful, wonderful tribe. So if yeah. you have any hesitation at all, don't. Do yourself a favor. <laughs> you bring up a good point too, Betty. And I, I do want to say this, that if, if, you, if you don't, if you want something that's easy and there's not going to be any bumps in the road and you're not going to have to change a lot in your life, don't sign up, period. You, you, won't, you, won't, uh, you won't like it. <laughs> but if you're ready for change in your life, and you are willing to put in some, some skin, uh, I guarantee you that the changes that, that happen in your life are going to be very profound, but it's not going to be easy. It's not, it's not a cakewalk. Um, we, we go deep and we go deep for a reason because it's, it's time. It's, it's not, we're, we're done with sugarcoating things in this world. I mean, it's just, it's so easy to check out and detach and disconnect and, uh, numb out and do all that kind of stuff and just kind of go with the, um, I don't know, just the way things, just in life, people just go through the motions. We don't do that on the mentorship. Um, it really is about opening up that space in our heart, living a heart-centered life and being present. And sometimes that means going through some big changes. And that means that sometimes your job changes in your life, sometimes relationships in your life break. Uh, whatever your world is looking like, it's not going to look the same at the end of the nine weeks or the end of the year. Um, and that's why we have so many people who go through the mentorship, uh, like Betty. We have many, many students who are into their second, third, fourth year around the wheel. They just won't get off the wheel. <laughs> 
And it's because it's so life changing. And every time you go through it, you're uncovering more and more and more. And that's a beautiful place to be if you're ready for it. Linda, you had your hand up. And, and you get all these great yeah. accidents like Linda. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I've only done one direction, which was the last one, the alchemist. And I would need to say that it was honestly the best quality materials I've probably encountered uh, before at all. And I've been involved in a lot of spiritual practices for over 30 years. And I think I moved more in nine weeks than I've done in 20 years. Wow. And I think that was down to a lot of the teaching here and the people here's help. The honesty in the group and the protection in the group was second to none. I think it was fantastic. So again, I would say to people, you know, you know, you probably spent thousands up to now if you really want to change, spend the money. That's worth yeah. it. Thank you, Linda. And Linda, how long had you uh, been following us before you finally joined? Uh, I think it was about a year and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did every meditation and, you know, everything that came on like this, I did. Because like everything else, I, I, I don't think I was attracted to an online group. I'm quite a physical person. So yeah. I do go to drama groups and I think, so it's going to be another online chat but everybody just chats a lot of nonsense um and it wasn't it absolutely wasn't and i could only say to people i'm not you know i'm not trying to sell things to people i don't do that but i honestly think this was a great course absolutely yeah. great course oh thank you yeah, thank you thank you i'm I, we need to write that testimonial down and put it on the website <laughs> no problem 20 years of workshops, nothing. One no. year, one direction. Sorry, no. 30 years of workshops. 30 years of workshops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm you're so welcome. glad you're here. And and I, I asked you that one question because there's so many times, and your name was one of them. Mm -hmm. I'll see your names. I recognize a lot of the names that are on YouTube and, and here today. It's like, I know that name. They've, they've been either buying meditations or I see them in comments on YouTube or on Facebook. And then every, about usually, you know, after some time, somebody like you finally makes that plunge into the mentorship. And, and once you make that plunge into the mentorship, you are, you are family for life. I really believe that the mentorship, it kind of is that collective of our soul family. I think I can understand why people would go around again because there was so much material, so yeah. much to work on that you wouldn't you wouldn't complete everything in nine weeks. Yeah, so no. there's things there that would you know you could keep working on for the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah, and the workshops, the live calls are different every every session every year, so we're always doing um, new workshops and new uh, teachings during those live calls. In fact. This will be new for those of you who are on the mentorship already. Uh, this next session in the nine weeks, we're reformatting the live calls where there will be a little bit of workshop and a little bit of community time in every single call. And we already have a lot of the, the workshopping already kind of plotted out. Betty's going to be helping out with the closings that we're going to do. We're going to do a different closing every week. Um, so it'll be really good just to kind of freshen things up a little bit. We used to alternate between community time and workshops. Now we're going to do a little bit of all of it. Carol, don't freak out. <laughs> I'm not freaking out. I think that's a good idea. Oh, good. Good, good, good. A bit of heat because it doesn't matter why. I just want to say about something that the mentorship helped me with that I didn't expect was I lost my brother a few days ago. And that, the meditation tonight, was extremely painful but beautiful at the same time because I was the tears were streaming through my face by the end of it. I, it's because I was able to release a wee bit of what I was feeling inside and I could never do that before I joined the mentorship. So yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carol. I'm really I'm so sorry about your brother this week. Yeah. The second Denise. Carol's been with us since the beginning. She was in the very first mentorship that I taught back in, I don't even remember when now. It's been a few years. It's been at least four years. Yeah. 
Yeah. But you, it's tell me more ways than what some folk could I ever know or understand, but I hadn't. You woke up the part of me that was wanting, wanting to learn and do things and be part of the world again. And oh. that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Denise? You know, well, first I have to say that meditation was was great. I mean, I wanted to close my eyes and just go into it, but I had to see it. Yeah. You, you always do an extremely great job. I want you to know that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, community means a lot to me. I, I, I say this a lot when we have change of directions. And when you when when you enter into the mentorship you'll realize that because mm -hmm. we're all there for each other we will hold space we will pray we will we will do what we need to do to help each and every one of you yeah. from our heart yeah. you know in an ethical way it isn't like mm -hmm. we're trying to control anything or do the work for you but we're there for you. Yeah. The, the other thing that I wanted to say is not to come in with preconceived notions. You know, <laughs> you, you, get, you, you get kind of balanced and you're, things are going pretty good. You're, you're kind of hovering in the center there. And you don't know what's going to happen next. And something happens inevitably. Mm -hmm. um, you never know. You couldn't plan it. It's a thing where you, it's, it's not planned. It's just something that you're ready and you deal with it. It's your next lesson. Yeah. It's such a perfect system. It's not easy. Oh, it is not it, easy. It's not easy. But, I mean, who could... Who could write this? I mean, it's just, I mean, well, you, you, you have written a program that is phenomenal. I mean, I don't know how else to, and the people that you have surround, you know, like Leanne and Sherry and, and mm -hmm. Betty, I mean, everybody brings in such a strong presence and, yeah. and skill set, you know, so. Yeah. Thank you for that, Denise. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. Yeah. And it's good to see you. I haven't seen you since November. Uh, I've been MIA. I know. Many, many of us have been in this last yeah. month just kind of regrouping and, and stuff. So I appreciate you being here. Thank you. And just a uh, side note, anybody who's in the mentorship, you guys are all going to get that meditation, um, the video and the meditation for free. That'll be a part of it. Wow. Yeah. And then just uh, kind of like a little quick introduction, because I know uh, a lot of uh, the names that I'm seeing are people who have been emailing us the, this past week. And Leanne, wave your hand, Leanne. That is one of the people who you have been conversing with. Leanne does all of our uh, admin tech stuff. She's uh, the one who, who does gets all the tech tickets when they come in. Um, she also is the one who is onboarding you guys as you sign up. So she uh, puts your name to all the courses that you get and your roles and all that stuff. She is unbelievably, unbelievably needed and loved and appreciated and cherished in this mentorship. She's, yeah, she's a, a huge, huge help. And then Sherry, wave your hand. Sherry is in Austin, Texas, and she is uh, my best friend, but she is also uh, like the one that I brainstorm with and help to uh, plan out all of these courses and helps them with the business and the launch and the marketing and all of that kind of stuff. So she is uh, insurmountable. I've never met somebody who has the kind of brain that Sherry has when it comes to business and running a business. So um, I just completely am in awe of that and have learned so much from her over the last few years. 
And then Betty, who may have uh, left, I know she had some stuff to go to today. Um, Betty is in Asheville, uh, North Carolina. And like I said earlier, she will be joining the, the team this 2020 to do uh, soul coaching. And she also helps out with live calls. And uh, she's just invaluable. She got everybody together today to do the reading for the poem. So she will be more visible in this next uh, year. And I should have said Leanne's in Massachusetts. So we got Team Guy is spread out over the United States. <laughs> we got all corners of the, the globe here. All right, um, anything else that I need to, to be aware of or to know or answer? Okay, well, I am around for the rest of the afternoon. I am one of those few people who have absolutely no plans for New Year's Day, except to finish cleaning my house that I started earlier. Um, so I will be around to answer any questions. If you have anything that comes up, I, I don't know, I, this is how bad it is. I don't know if we still have the sale going on for the mentorship or not. Do you know, Leanne? We don't know. <laughs> but you know what? For uh, Even if it's not, I'm going to go in as soon as we get off the call, and I'm going to knock 50 bucks off of the uh, Wisdom Keeper price and 25 off of the single session price and 15 off of the Light Keeper, Light Seeker, uh, program, which is where you can do the mentorship without the community part of it. And it's, uh, the price point is a lot different for that. Um, oh, Leanne's got coupon codes. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to give you guys, uh, we'll mail out this coupon codes to everybody who registered for the call today. If you're on YouTube and you want that uh, code, just email us and we'll send you a code for it to uh, knock off some, some money off of the enrollment for you. Uh, but we will be around for the rest of the afternoon and tomorrow and the day after. We'll be here until Monday <laughs> at midnight. And there is a very hard close on the enrollment. At midnight, my time on Monday, it comes down. You will not be able to enroll. Um, and so the North Direction will not reopen for enrollment until this time next year. So if you really want to uh, step in and, and do this work, uh, make a plunge. We'll open up enrollment for the east direction in March, but the east is very different than the north. Uh, and you can start anywhere on the wheel. It doesn't matter what direction you start in because they all need uh, balanced. And if, if you are one of those people who think you have everything balanced, then um, you'd be sorely mistaken because the only time you have everything in balance is when you're dead and you're not breathing. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you are breathing, there's work to be done on your soul. Um, and so if, if, if everybody has that beginner's mind, uh, you, will, you will flourish in this environment. All right. I appreciate all of you being here today. I also appreciate everybody on YouTube for showing up. My YouTube peeps are, uh, they are hardcore in my heart. Um, YouTube was, is, is, uh, the, the foundation that has really launched a lot of what I do um, and where I, I've been able to get exposed to many of you guys. So I appreciate everybody there and all my peeps. Um, all right. Thank you. And have a great, wonderful rest of the first day of 2020. Bye, everybody. Love you.